Welcome to another video from SwanseaTechSupport.co.uk. This video is called Excel Interval Macro Handling Macro Errors. Sometimes when you're running a macro, um, errors are going to occur and we want to find out how to deal with them. So for this one, I've got my keyboard shortcut to run this macro. Uh, it's Control shift i so I'm going to press that now. That's going to run the macro, but we've seen here it automatically comes with, with this uh, runtime error. It just says runtime error 13, type mismatch. It doesn't mean much to me. If I press debug and have a look at that, it just says that something on that line, okay? Uh, it doesn't really help me much, so I'm going to add an error handler on here that's actually going to uh, tell me a little bit more information about what lines the error occurred on so I can try to figure out for myself um, what's going on. So the bit of code that I've added here is the keyword on error go to and this is just the name of uh, whatever error handler you want to uh, call it. Uh, I just called it error handler which is a pretty standard name. So on error so whenever it finds an error, it's going to go to this error handler instead of running this, uh, the rest of this code. So if all this code runs without any errors, we want to actually exit the, man, uh, the, the macro and not run the error handler. So we just put in this keyword here, exit sub, which means we exit the, ma the macro. And then we, if there is an error, we want to run the error handler. The error handler is just simply going to be a message box. It's going to say that an error has occurred, and it's going to tell you what lines or lines it's actually occurred on. In this case, the line uh, number was um, our um, integer value. We said it was going to be final row to three, so the I there gives us uh, the row number. So it's going to say it's occurred on I minus one, uh, which is the row that we're working on plus the one before, or uh, that row. And then I've just given it a title there of error macro. So if I run this now, uh, close this down and run this one, uh, with Control shift i to run my macro, and it says there an error has occurred at line 9 or 10. So I can look at lines 9 or 10 now and try and figure out what's going on. So line 10, everything's to be fine. Line 1 appears to be fine until we look more closely and we see actually I've got two colons up here instead of one. So that was what was uh, causing my macro to not work. So I can just do that and it comes back and that's going back to that's fine. If I just for format painter. There we go. So that's back fine where it should be. So if I run the macro again, Control shift i there we go. It adds in the 12.30 because it recognised that's 12, and we're ready to go. Okay, that's uh, just a short little bit on how to um, add uh, error handling into your macros. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.